Chicago. So it's the day after Thanksgiving and my fiance Josh and I are headed to Chicago for like a little getaway trip. So we live in Michigan, so Chicago isn't that far of a drive for us. It's about three and a half hours from Detroit. Um, so we left this morning, it's about, it's almost noon right now. But the funny thing is this morning I was like, oh my gosh, we like gotta get up and go. Uh, Cause it's like a three and a half hour drive. But I forgot there was a time change. So we're actually gonna be there like we're, we're gonna be there earlier, right? Yeah. An hour early, yeah. So I probably didn't have to rush this much this morning, but oh well, we'll get there earlier than expected. Hopefully we can check into our hotel room um, a little bit earlier, because I think we're gonna get there at two, and check-in isn't until three, but I hope that we can get in early so we can change and kind of get ready for the day. So on today's agenda in Chicago, first thing we're doing is we're going ice skating at Maggie Daly Park. And a big reason why we wanted to go ice skating here is because, you know like a typical, typical ice skating rink is like a circle? This one is called an ice skating ribbon, so it's like a path through the park. And I we just thought that'd be so cool to try and do ice, or go ice skating there. Um, and then we have, later tonight we have um, dinner reservations with Josh's cousin. So that's the only things we have booked today. And then we're just gonna kinda walk around and explore because it has been so long since we've been to Chicago. Josh and I both, we've never been to Chicago together. I don't know when's the last time I've been to Chicago, which is just so silly because we live in Michigan and it's not that far away, but I don't know, it's just like we just never go there. So because it was a four day holiday weekend, we thought, hey, let's just make a little trip out of it. We're gonna be there for two nights. So this is vlog one of two vlogs and I'm really excited to take you guys along. So let's go to Chicago. Now, as soon as we got into Chicago, we somehow took a turn and ended up underneath the city. So what we learned is that the streets have upper and lower versions of them. And somehow we got under the lower version and it was super confusing under there. We didn't really know where to turn, where we were going. And the whole time we were driving, the GPS thought we were like above ground. And so that like just made it even more confusing. So if this happens to you, our best advice is just to get out of the underneath, just get up on, on the upper level and that'll help you find where you're going. Once we figured out where we were going, we found our hotel, checked in really quick, did a quick change, and then we were on our way to Maggie Daly Park because we had ice skating reservations at two o'clock and it was about like 1.45. So we wanted to head over to the park. So this park is connected to Millennium Park, which is where the Bean is. And it's a very, very pretty walk. There's this beautiful bridge that kind of goes over the highway. And that's where you're gonna end up at Maggie Daly Park to do the ice skating ribbon. Now the process for checking in for ice skating was super simple and easy. You just scanned your ticket and you got to pick up your skates right there as well. I did notice on their sign that you can actually skate for free Monday through Thursday if you bring your own skates and I thought that was so awesome. And then this is what the ice rink looked like. So you had some picnic tables, a cafe, bathrooms and some benches where people were taking their shoes on and off and putting their skates on. And then speaking of skates, our rental ones were very well loved and used. Um, they were not the best skates by any means, but that's kind of to be expected when you're renting skates. And it was fine, they did the job for what we were doing. And then this is what the ice skating ribbon looked like. So we love this experience just because it was different than your typical ice skating rink. It was kind of like skating on a path and you had these beautiful trees and Chicago buildings in the background. It was just so lovely. After ice skating, we went back to Millennium Park, which is right next to Maggie Daly, and we got to see the bean, although it is like blocked off right now. It's under construction until spring 2024, but we still got to see it, which was cool. And then we kept walking, and we saw the Christmas tree, which was so, so pretty. And then right next to the Christmas tree was another ice skating rink. This one was like your typical rink in a circle, which was really, really lovely. Um, I think that would be so cool to go ice skating there at night and see the Christmas tree all lit up in the background, but this was such a beautiful part of the park. Next, it was time for some shopping. It was Black Friday after all. So I really wanted to check out Primark because I know a couple people online who shop there, but I don't think there's any in Michigan, so I really wanted to check it out and see it for myself. 
It definitely gave me H&M vibes, but I really liked it. I didn't end up getting anything, but it was really fun to look around and they had so much Disney stuff, which was so fun to see. Also, let me know down in the comments if you shop at Primark. But guys, on my way out, I stopped midway because I saw something so triggering, this purse. Excuse me, why is this coming back into style? This is a travesty, I could not, oh my gosh. Right next to Primark is Macy's and I really want to take Josh to this Macy's because fun fact, I used to work at Macy's. So when I would fly in for my interviews, it would be here. I would do them at this store. I've been in the offices here. I was in their like um, after college management program. So it was like a big part of like my life at the time. So I really want to show him this store because it is beyond gorgeous. You don't even think you're in a Macy's. Like it is just, immaculate and it's eight levels which is so crazy so we started riding the escalator up to i want to say it was maybe the sixth or seventh level to the christmas section you'll know it when you see it because it's pure christmas everywhere and we just wanted to take a look around and it was so so festive we loved it also up here on the Christmas floor, you have the Walnut Room, which is a restaurant. And during Christmas, they have the Great Tree, which it is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree. And we could kind of like peek in and see everyone dining at the Walnut Room. And it looked like they had like, I don't know, like Christmas fairy princesses walking around and talking to the kids at each table. It definitely gave me Disney vibes. So if this is something that you'd want to do, definitely book that in advance because I'm sure it books up quickly, but it looked amazing. Another fun thing on the level of this store is there's a bunch of Macy's history here. You have the Thanksgiving Day Parade history, and if you walk along the walls here, you'll see photos from way back when, like in the 1900s, what the store looked like then, and it was really cool to check out. Next, we wanted to get some drinks, and I had heard about the Palmer Hotel, which wasn't too far away, so I wanted to go check it out, and I am so glad we did. This hotel lobby was immaculate. Like, it was so grand and beautiful, and the Christmas decorations were so lovely. I was so happy we went and checked this out. There was a bar that we got some drinks at. There was like a lot of seating in the lobby. It was very busy, which I can see why, because this hotel was just so beautiful, had the most gorgeous Christmas tree, and Josh and I got each a glass of red wine, and it was so lovely. All right, we're just getting ready to go out to dinner with Josh's cousin, but we want to give you a little recap on our day so far. So first we went ice skating at Maggie Daly Park, which at first you and I are both like, oh my gosh, I forget how to ice skate. And it was a little yeah. bit of a learning curve at first, but once we got it, it was so much fun and it was so much better than like a typical ice skating rink. Um, so that was like really fun. I did find it weird that like, there was no lockers to put your shoe in. Like I've been ice skating in New York and like you buy a locker usually, but this was like, just a rack sitting out and you just put your shoes there and like hope no one takes them so I didn't have very nice shoes so I don't think anyone was gonna take them but um yeah you did the ribbon around and then it was a little uphill at first and that was like kind of hard when we had to go uphill um but it was super super fun and then after that we walked around Millennium Park and we saw the bean but the bean was like gated off it's gated off I think until spring of 2024 but we took a selfie with it anyway but whatever it's not like the best picture in the world and then we walked by and we saw the christmas tree which was really cool um and then there was that other skating rink by the tree right yeah. but that one was like a circle one so that was kind of like your basic skating rink but it was really pretty because i'm sure at night like the trees all lit up and you could see the christmas tree right there so that was really cool and then after skating you were hungry so we went to where did we Charlie, go charlie kane what was it charlie charlie kane I charlie kane okay so that was like re really close by the circle skating rink by the christmas trees Christmas tree, so we grabbed some chicken there. Crazy, crazy cane? I don't know. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, but then after that, we went shopping. We went to Primark because I know a lot of people who shop there, and I've never been to a Primark Primark before. So we checked that out. It really reminded us of like an H&M. Yeah. But it was really cool, and it's Black Friday today, so like the stores were crazy busy. And then right next to Primark was Macy's, and it's like an eight floor Macy's. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually used to work at Macy's, so we thought it'd be fun to like pop in there. Um, and that was super cool. They had a beautiful Christmas section with like all this Christmas decor. So it was really, really nice. Um, but yeah, we're about to go out to dinner to, is it Sienna Tavern? 
correct. Yes. So we're going to go out to dinner there. So I'll film a little clips here and there, but um, we're going to go out with his cousin. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of vlogging there, but it's been a really good first day and I'm super psyched about tomorrow. I will give you guys a room tour. I think it's going to be tomorrow. We'll have a little bit more time, but um, yeah, so far we're having a great time in Chicago. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's later. It's the next day. So last night we had so much fun. We went out to Sienna Tavern for dinner and oh my gosh, it was so, so good. I think they said the restaurant was started by a celebrity chef and they said all their pastas and breads were made from scratch and you could totally tell I got the gnocchi pasta. It was to die for like so so good and then after dinner we took a little uber ride over to the green door pub which is like i think one of the oldest pubs in chicago it was so kitschy inside and like so fun but we actually went downstairs where there was a speakeasy it was so cool the speakeasy really gave off like 1920s 1930s vibes and they had like um, tarot cards that were the cocktails that you could choose from. So I thought that was such a cool little detail. And then also at the Speakeasy, there were little shows. Like I think they ran every 30 or 45 minutes and they were like really quick shows. One was a singer, one was like a burlesque dancer. It was so, so cool. So that's what we did last night. It was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because Chicago vlog day two is coming real soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free.